Hello everyone, my name is Robin, I'm an intern at Kabisa and today I'll be giving you a quick tutorial on how you can get your own Maji mobile app up and running. Uh, Maji mobile allows you to easily create mobile apps across many different devices and operating systems like for example iOS and Android. So in this video you will see how you can get uh, your own development environment set up and the first steps of creating your own application. I will personally be doing so on OS X for today but it is also possible on Linux, however for that a few extra steps will have to be required which you can find at our github repository. So before we get started on our app uh, make sure you have installed the prerequisites which on OS X are Xcode and the Xcode command line tools uh, but also homebrew and node.js. Okay, so now let's install Maji so we can start our first project. So pick a specified location where you want to be working in. Uh, for me, I'll just go ahead and do so in my documents folder. So select the folder inside your terminal as your working directory, and then you enter the following command. npm install kabisa slash maji dash g. Uh, this will install Maji as a command that you can now actually access in your terminal. So now we can generate a new app and we do that by typing Maji new org.example.myapp will take that as the title and then we put it in the folder my app. So now you have your first Maji app, it's really that simple. One last step though, head into your newly created folder and then run bin slash setup. This will get you all ready to start coding and that's pretty much all there is to it. Let's immediately show you that the install process has paid off by running our project. Go ahead and run bin slash margi run dash e iOS to get our iPhone simulator started. Uh, also note by the way that you can leave dash e away if you have an iPhone connected to your machine so that way the app will actually run on your own iPhone. You'll see now we have a standard app with a title of our project and some example transitions uh, that you can check out for yourself. So for example try clicking on each of them and then you can see what they all do. Margi apps are actually just web apps so you'll do most of your developing from a web browser. Um, you can use the make watch command in the terminal to enable you to do so and then all you have to do is navigate to localhost 9090 in your web browser and you'll see the very same result. Here's a handy tip, if you're using Google Chrome you can simulate the screens of different devices like an iPad or a Galaxy S4. Uh, just open up Google Chrome, open the developer tools, then press the little device button and then in the device window you can choose what display you would like to see. Now this is the moment when you can start implementing the features that you had in mind for your own application. Now that we have our app up and running, let's make a quick small change for starters, while also immediately testing our implementation. Start by going to your favorite editor and add the test app source code. Uh, I myself will be using Sublime Text for this. You'll see a bunch of different files and folders, um, but I, you know, obviously I won't be going into the details about every single one of them since this is just a quick video to get you started. So for now, all you need to know is that we will be working in the app slash modules slash home folder. Uh, this is where our current views and templates are stored. At Kabisa, we find it very important that all code we write is also properly tested. Test-driven development all the way, they always say. Um, so our app comes with a simple built-in test that I will quickly show you how to run. Simply hit Ctrl C on your keyboard to stop the application from uh, running and now you can use the terminal and enter the command bin slash karma start. This will start all our current tests. So if done right, you should now actually see the test index page that was tested correctly, saying it does indeed show a message. Of course, we want to add something of our own and test it as well. Uh, you may notice that as of right now, we only have two views. We have an index page and a detail page that appears when clicking on a certain transition. What we're going to be doing is add our own little text message to the detail page. So uh, tests always come first, as I said before. So we'll start by writing one before writing the actual code that has to be run. Now head over to the spec folder. This is the folder where all our tests are located. In the views folder inside of the spec folder, you should see our index index page test file and we can have a look at it and we'll see that the behavior that we expect, namely it shows a message, is being tested there. Now because we want to create a test for our detail page, we'll have to make another file inside the same folder. Uh, we'll simply call this file detail page spec 
Coffee. So let's take it easy by simply taking the code from the other file and then applying it here too, but make sure to adjust all the index page titles, obviously to detail page. Uh, this time around our plan is to add a small message that simply says, wow, you're into details. So let's get rid of the code and the expect method here that we don't need and say the result should be equal to the text of our page. Now we go back to our tests and then restart Karma to pick up our new spec file. It's failing, but that's pretty obvious, right? We didn't actually add our text yet. So let's go ahead and do that. We do this in our app slash module slash home folder again. Inside of templates, you select our detail file. In our body, we create a new paragraph with the percent %p and then simply add our text. If we go back to our tests now, you'll see that they're finally green, which is awesome. That being said, if you're more the visual kind of guy, then we can start our simulator again with bin slash margi run dash e iOS and then head over to the app. We can see that when clicking on the transition now, it actually shows us uh, the message of the detail page after afterwards. And that's really all there is to it. That's it. That's how you get started with Maji Mobile. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. And for more information on Maji Mobile, you can of course go to our website, which is majimobile.com. Thanks for watching.